It's the weekend. Woo! I don't know why, but I feel like this week I've just been so depressed. Actually, my friends and I were planning on going out to a bar. We're going clubbing in the city. I'm gonna keep it real, party rock, not in the house. Like I'm trying to approach life like I just, like I'm 90 years old and I just woke up as a 22 year old and I have all this energy and I'm trying to, you know, utilize all the zest for life I have, even though today I have no zest. My zest has been stripped from my peel. I'm gonna push myself, but I think honestly, before then, I need to have a self-care day. I need to try and increase the serotonin production in my brain. So we're at the gym again. Maybe get a little runner's high. I don't want to do too much because I'm going to be walking around in the city. Why does my face look so fucking puffy? I haven't been sleeping well at all. And I don't know what's going on. I've been getting, if I get four hours of sleep a night, that's a good, good night for me. I've been sleeping, I don't, I don't know why. I just can't fucking sleep. Last night, actually, I got 11 hours because I took, I'm not going to tell you how many Benadryl I took because I'm worried that somebody watching this is going to take that same amount of Benadryl and then overdose. Just know it was a nearly lethal amount. Also, I took melatonin. Like, you're not supposed to do that, but like, that's the only thing that would put me to bed. And even then, it took me like two hours to fall asleep. What is going on? I think it was, um, the famous philosopher, Air Apostle, that said, tell the bartender, line up some shots, because I'm gonna get loose tonight. I'm a 90-year-old woman who woke up in a 22-year-old body, and it might not be the best 22-year-old body, but she's gonna whore it out anyways, okay? I actually have a headache. Right now my goal is to drink as much water as I can without getting to a dangerously low sodium level. I am not getting hungover. I'm telling you right now I will be in pristine condition tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna deal with the dark lighting because it's actually really hot in my room and my plants have had it too good for too long. I need to remind them that I can take away their sunlight at any point. I'm gonna do that with my kids too. Just gonna, just gonna take away their water supply, just to remind them that I'm in charge. Only if I have a son. <laughs> I only want one kid, and I want a girl so bad. Like, I don't love the idea of raising an only child. But they're successful only children. Like, it happens. That being said, ooh, my stomach hurts. That being said, I want a girl so bad, and I think I want it too bad. Like, I know that God is gonna be like, boy mom. I'm gonna be a boy mom. I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna be a boy mom. I'm gonna hate every second of it, but that's just my cross I have to carry. I'm gonna disappoint my parents tonight. Okay. Ooh. Guys. <laughs> oh, you can't even see. Sorry, sorry. I think I'm entering my party era. I think that, because I didn't go to college, right? So I didn't get the typical American experience. And that was something I really wanted when I was a kid. I really wanted to party. Like when I was 13, I remember being like, oh, I just want to go to parties. I want to be cool. And then when I was 18, 19, I mean, COVID, <laughs> there was no way I was partying. And then when I was 20, I started traveling. Like they're just, the opportunity hasn't presented itself. But now I'm legal. I'm home taking classes and the opportunity is presenting itself. And when I was in Pakistan, some of the people I met there, they were kind of giving me shit. Cause I was like, oh, I just don't go out that often. Like, and they were saying like, you're so lucky. You have all these opportunities. You can, you can go to a bar on any night. You don't, you're not taking advantage of it. Like you're so lucky that you can just freely go to a bar, a club, a social gathering. And you have all this freedom to meet people and to let loose and you're not taking advantage of it. And I was like, partying gets like a bad rap obviously it is like very hedonistic it's it is a celebration isn't it like you're just celebrating being alive you're letting loose you're having fun like you're embracing the joy of living i'm not stupid there's a big dark side to it but i think when done correctly it can be a really enriching thing for your life i have beautiful nails they're so wide they're so easy to paint 
and I'd never fucking paint them. I have this beautiful canvas that would make a nail artist jizz. Also, my eyes. I have beautiful eyelids, such thick, chunky eyelids, like perfect for eyeshadow, and I'm not fucking using eyeshadow. Gorge, Maggie. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag. Now we wait. Guys, I need you to do something for me. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Did you clap your hands? Read them and weep, suckers. All right, sweetie, so change of plans. Mommy's had a change of plans, okay? My friend is coming to pick me up and I'm getting ready there, so. This might be the last time we talk for today. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow when mommy's hungover. He's right behind me, isn't he? Mommy got lit. Ooh, my contacts are still in. Hey. I've had worse. I've had so many worse nights where I was drunk and I acted. I have to update my tally, actually. I have a tally on my phone of how many times I've been drunk. Guys, I've been drunk 15 times. Mommy had fun. I didn't get a picture of my outfit. I slept in my makeup. Okay. Okay. Guys. I don't know. Ugh. I keep getting cringed out because I didn't- okay. I didn't do anything actually that crazy. Like, I wasn't actually that cringy or- I just- ooh, I just- I'm so embarrassed. I don't know. Being- why is being drunk so fucking embarrassing? I don't know. I don't want to think about it, actually. I don't want to think about it. It's just so embarrassing. It's like, why did I say that? Also, it's like, why was I talking to people? Oh my god, next time I get drunk, I just want to be alone. No, I don't. Oh, why was I doing that? Okay, but I'm actually not hungover at all. I was built to be an alcoholic. Like, I don't get hungover. Maybe in two years, I'll be getting hungover and miss these days, but tomorrow at 9? Wait, what time is it? It's 2 o'clock. Fuck my life. The day's already fucking over. Okay, listen to me, sweetie. There's actually so much to say and I don't know where to start. Okay, I would show you my- I would show you my feet, but I have this one Pakistani stalker at the moment, and I have a feeling that he's into feet, so I'm not gonna show you, but my feet look fucked up. I have 10,000 steps today already. But I was out until 4. I got home at 4.44. Mommy's hangover helper. Oh my god, I never want to talk to anyone again. I don't even want to check- I don't want to check my bank account. I don't know how much I fucking spent. I'm never getting drunk again. I'm never getting drunk again. It was actually so fun. Mommy needed that. I needed to cut loose. I really needed to cut loose that. That felt really good. But, um, I'm not doing it ever again. No, give me a month. Oh wait, I was making- I was making a list of what we have to do. I need to wash my sheets. Let's be so fucking for real. These sheets are wretched. These sheets have seen more than I will ever care to admit. I'm acting like I'm- I'm fucking some international diplomats in this bed. But I'm telling you I'm not. I just think this bed needs- the sheets need- Okay. Wash. Sheets. Clean. Room. Skin. Hair. Fine God. Um... I have an interview tomorrow. I'm telling you right now, I need this fucking job. I want this job. I've never wanted a job more than I want this job. I am going to be devastated if it doesn't work out. And if this is in the video, then I got the job. If it's not, okay, I guess I won't know because I'm hopefully uploading this Tuesday and tomorrow's Monday. Okay, you know what I don't like about that? If I upload this on Tuesday, I mean today's Sunday, the turnaround time, it's not the editing, but it's the fact that like usually when I upload a video, I feel like it's like a week later and I'm like, I'm not her anymore. You know what I mean? Like enough time has passed where like this is a different person. Her life is different than mine. I don't know. Like, and I'm uploading this and it's like, no, this is me. I'll be editing this video like this girl is such a mess. But like, I'm still her. I need to stop looking at the viewfinder. Okay, I turned it around. Sad. Let's get going.
We also have to do like a major debriefing. I only want this day to last like five more hours. So we have to get going. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay, let's go. So busted. Why she look like that? All right, guys, keep it real. Who closed? Who closed last night? Who closed? Dude, I keep just remembering shit, and it's not like it, okay. We'll talk. Just, uh, mommy, no. I don't want to talk about it. Vitamin C serum, eye cream, skin, these, eye patches, face mask, more vitamin C. Vitamin C, that's a pirate's favorite vitamin. Anyways, um, ooh, also, I have peppermint tea. Look, they have, I wait, I waited to tell you, to, to I waited to, um, read this so we can do it together. It says, beauty is not caused. It is. Emily Dickinson. Okay. I have been cringing so much when I think about, um, when I think about last night. I woke up, I was like, well, that was fun. That was silly. I had a good time. And now, oh my God, everything I said, I'm just thinking about and cringing. I'm never getting drunk again. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so let's tell the story. Okay, so, okay. So we get to my house at 4.44 a.m. I had just sent a text to someone, so I kn knew I had my phone. Um, and then I'm like, I don't know, I get out of the car, I'm like, hey guys, like, where's my phone? Couldn't find it, and I was like, it has to be one of my bags, like maybe I, I put it in there. It's black. Guys. Please. Ooh, I feel like they shouldn't do a black face mask on the internet. Hashtag Maggie Vale is over party. I get to my room. I just throw shit on the floor as we saw. Like, who closed, you know? Ooh, okay, this feels... <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be brave and do it. Please. Please, like, okay, actually it just looks like I'm gonna go rob a bank. Chic. Okay, story time. So, <laughs> I just get naked and I go to bed because I'm like, there's no way I'm picking out a set of jammies. Mommy's passing out, okay? My parents bang on my door. I'm like, okay? They're like, Maggie, the police are here. I'm like, <laughs> sure they are, sweetie. I like, say I don't know and then I try to go back to bed and then they're banging on my door. I get dressed, I put on my biker shorts that I was wearing under my skirt, but I put both legs through one leg hole. He was like, where's your phone? It's saying that you got into a car crash. I'm like, what? I'm right here. He was like, you were driving? I was like, absolutely not. 4.44, they dropped me off at my house. 4.51, my phone hits the curb of the road, somehow left the car. I don't know if someone threw it out or what, but it was just on the side of the road and it alerted the police and said that I got into a crash and I was fine. And that was really embarrassing. 
then my dad comes in here and he's like, did Hannah crash? Like, what is going on? He's interrogating me. And I'm like, oh my god. So that was my story time. Also, I lost my wallet. Um, I'm never getting drunk again. I had maybe one or two drinks too many. Like, I was at a sweet spot and I pushed it too far. Anyways, I caught myself, like, I forgot I was filming, and I caught myself, like, maladaptive daydreaming that I was back at the club, and I, I was back in a conversation that I had had, and I was, like, saying the things that I said, like, that was embarrassing. I changed my sheets. No, so these sheets I had as a kid growing up. You know, horse sheets, because horse girl. I'm so excited to be back in touch with my roots. This feels right. Okay, mommy's getting tired. We're done. Actually, no, we're not done. There's still a little bit around the edge. Normally this is fine, but I told this job, these, I told these job people that I'm detail-oriented, and they see that, they're gonna be like, no. You guys remember when everyone was hoarding toilet paper? Take me back. Those were the days. Ugh, I wish somebody wanted me as bad as we all wanted toilet paper in 2020. It's so romantic. Toilet paper probably felt like so validated and hot, but also maybe maybe a little bit objectified. Toilet paper, that was like their one hit wonder, wasn't it? COVID was toilet paper's like, Ooh, my eye. Oh, there's another mask. 10 to 20. No. That's so long. Ooh, chic. Oh my god. You guys remember when I was depressed? <laughs> I needed this. Like, my body was craving just letting loose. Like, I really needed it. It scratched an itch in my brain. It just felt so good. I don't think I'll be getting drunk for at least a month. Halloween. I'm done. I'm so done. Especially drunk around certain people because I just run my fucking mouth. Actually, chic as fuck. Tell me now, tell me now. All your perversions. Ah. Guys, we've come so far. We started out the video. Mommy was sad. Very low serotonin past few days. I got ready to get ready. And then you weren't there. I'm sorry. Then I partied. And then we recovered. Ooh, I have to do my Duolingo. Also, Lana and Frank, if you guys are watching, can't believe you let your streaks die. That's insane. I feel kind of betrayed because I started doing it when I was traveling with them, and now they're... That's crazy. Guys, I'm very disappointed. But I understand because I'm also getting annoyed with Duolingo. This is the longest relationship I've ever had. Me and Duo. Lucy, and today we're listening to a conversation in a clothing store. Ooh, a conversation in a He needs a suit. Yeah, ich suche ein Sakko für ein Job interview. Yeah, he's looking for a suit jacket for his job interview, guys. Ich brauche Größe L. Oh, das passt perfekt. Danke. Gern geschehen. A jacket for a job interview, eh? Now. Why do I get the feeling this isn't just any interview? Perhaps it's with a secret organization. Seems like he's fitting right into something covert. I'll get to the bottom of this. Remember, I'm always listening. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna stop saying that. That's my man. That's my man. Sorry, I'm just using you as a mirror. This is so boring. Ooh, I'm, I'm being gluttonous with the amount of product I'm using tonight. Ooh, I don't like that this is scented. Why? Bitch, it's going on my face. I don't want it to smell. That's what she said. <laughs> Bitch. Look. You know how they're like, gamers, rate my setup. Sleepers, rate my setup. Brother, you're fucking with me. Okay, actually, this is kind of wet. 
Ooh. You fucking wish. You fucking wish. You guys fucking wish you woke up in a bed this fucking cute. Okay? This simultaneously makes me not want to get out of bed, but it makes me want to get out of bed in the morning. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want this bed set up to be part of my outfit and my look, but like, it gives me zest for life. All right, guys. Mommy loves you, sweetie.